Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Do you see it? Fortune 3 on the pickaxe for three levels. That is what this episode is all about. That's what we're looking for. That is how we make the diamonds. Now, I have gone through and rotated this a few times just using a couple of books. It resets them. So right now, pickaxe is set for three levels to definitely get me fortune three. So we're going to want to leave it there. Right there. Don't move it. No one enchant anything. Don't do anything. Just sit back and relax and keep watching. No one else enchants. Ladies and gentlemen, I have warned you. Oh, there are zombies coming out of the swamp. Okay, now that that is dealt with. Ladies and gentlemen, I have warned you that the plans could change at any given time, and guess what? This is one of those times. I am not going to be building a base away from my base. I am not going to build a general mob spawner. Uh, I could do those things, but instead I have decided I'm just going to grind it out. We are going to go hunting, hunting, hunting. We will find a spawner, and we will make a mob spawner XP farm. I'm going to go do a little looking off camera. Probably much more than I want to, but that's fine. And we will find our mob spawner of sorts and make an experience farm out of it. I'm sorry, I just, I really don't feel like using a thousand blocks to go build a general mob spawner right now. I just, I don't want to do that at this point in this game. It'd be much easier to just find a, much easier to just find a dungeon. Welcome back. As you can hear, there are lots of monsters nearby. I think I have found it. There are tons of skeletons walking around. Let's take a peek at what I found. Make sure we throw on the armor. This could be, this could get a little dangerous. And right down in here. Oh, I know as soon as I open it, I'm gonna get shot again. have a skeleton. Looks like a skeleton dungeon. So let's see if we can get to the side of this. And then we can start setting up our little base of operations next to this dungeon. Oh, look at them all fight. Oh my goodness. Look at them go. Sneak a couple of shots in here. Ooh, magic bows. Oh, this is going to be delightful. Let's just throw a couple torches in there. We're not scared of this guy, right? Okay, so, uh, situation under control. We've got everything lit up. Not too bad. A couple of arrows on us. That's fine. Take care of this guy. What is this back here? He's stuck up there. We'll block it off for now. We know that could be something. All right, let's take a look at our rewards. Ooh, look at all that gunpowder, and we've got a disc. Oh, cat. Oh, excellent. Some string. Oh, I need to declutter my inventory. It's so bad. Redstone. Redstone. I have so much redstone. I don't need redstone. All right, so we're going to head back to base. We're going to drop off some supplies. I need to declutter a little bit. We will return with some materials and get to work on turning this into a little uh, experience farm for ourselves. It took longer than I wanted, but uh, I'm glad that we found this and that we have it now. I'm going to have to make this a little bit nicer. I just dug out a quick little entrance to the overworld here. And uh, this isn't too far from our base. I'll show you where it is. So it comes out up here. And if we look off this direction, there's our village, and uh, our dirt hut is right through these swampy trees here. Oh boy. Oh. Not like this. Not my dirt hut. No, please. Whew. 
All right. Well, now that we have found our spawner, we are just going to make a little drop room and a little collection area to gather up all of the items that the skeletons will drop, as well as the experience. Let's get to work. I keep running right past this, so we're just going to mark this so I remember where my little entrance is. And we'll make this all pretty eventually. Okay, so nothing is spawning. First thing we need to do is open up the room a little bit. Let's go ahead and break these walls down. Okay, so we had the room the size that we wanted. Whew, I wish I brought my efficiency pick. Uh, that would have made things a little bit nicer. Now we're just going to drop this floor down a bit where we can make the water that will push them away, uh, collect them in a little trench sort of thing, and then we will make the drop so that it's nice and easy to take them out. mentioning that nice enchanted diamond pickaxe. I think I'm just going to go grab it, save myself the time. We have a lot, of, a lot more digging ahead of us. Whoops, forgot to light this up enough. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll get a little bit more light in here. We're just going to drop these down. That should keep things from spawning for now. And we're just going to rip out this floor. Ah, oh, so much nicer with this pickaxe than the first time I really used this uh, enchanted pickaxe. I forgot what it felt like to have enchanted diamond tools. And we just want to make sure we keep this lower level lit. Ah, did forget. We're gonna do this on top just to stop things from spawning. There we go. And continuing on. Okay, and so we have our... Oh. Too much. Put one in the center here. <laughs> uh, so we have what will be our little spawning zone. Um, let's just put a block in here, like so. Good. 
<clears throat> so they will spawn here. Uh, now we need the water that will push them down. Just make sure that I continue to have a way out of here. Oh, still spawning. Alright, I took these off too soon. Well, I can still reach them, so. There, my goodness. Getting shot all over the place here. Now. Uh, let's see. So we'll come down. Da -da 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 -da. And we'll probably put our little collection zone over here. So we need a drop and a stairwell. And we'll just pull this out. Good there. Nice. So they will spawn, they will be pushed down by the water, and at the end here we will have this little collection zone. So they will fall in. Probably should have my way out of here a little... <laughs> should probably make it a little more safe, but whatever. We're going to live, live life on the edge here. And, oh, I actually needed two more waters. So, we'll do this. And one more. Good. The two of those will meet in the middle. This is actually where we want it to be collecting. We're going to have to build around this, but that's okay. So they'll flow down here into the center. And they will end up here. Then they're going to fall down many, many blocks. So we are going to continue this path, actually. Not too many blocks. Uh, we actually want it to be a precise number, which I believe will be 23. Hopefully, I have that correct. So when they are here, it's only too high, they won't be able to jump. They're going to be standing on uh, 44, so we need to go down to, oh my, 21. Why 21 is what we want. Alright, so this is going to be the level of our little collection room. Now we're just going to have to go back and find it from the drop zone. We'll come back and beautify all of this. I just want to get it up and functioning for now, and then we will make it look pretty. Alright, so I'm dangerously going to do something you should never do in Minecraft, which is jig directly down. I think we will be okay and end up landing in our little space we've created below us. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I don't like digging straight down. This is a bad idea. It's going to be a random pool of lava on my way down. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm at 21. Now I gotta dig out and find my room. Ah, there it is. Nice. So, this will be our little shaft. And we'll just make sure we have enough light in here. Nothing's gonna spawn, cause a problem. Very, very good. We're just going to block this in, and we should be good to go. So they should be landing on that spot. They will either die or 
they will have half a heart left and uh, that should be that should leave them low enough that I can just kill them in one hit. Let's go ahead and test it out and then we will spruce this place up a little bit. I'm realizing now I really should not have this open um, right next to skeletons as I'm coming down. They're just going to be shooting at me the whole time that they're spawning. So we will... Oh, maybe I could put some glass in there. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah, because then we could watch them from <laughs> spawn in. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I think we're going to do that. Uh, for now, we're just going to put some blocks in here. Make sure that I don't get shot and killed on my way down. Uh, but I think we'll come up, uh, come back and touch that up with some glass. Fill it in. That should be really cool looking. I need to get over there and take out all of the lights. And when I do, all of the skeletons are going to start spawning. And then I'm going to die, probably. Just kidding. We'll make it out alive, hopefully, somehow. Oh, this is the part I hate. Let's put a couple blocks down so I have a better chance of making it out here. And let's go. I don't care about these lights. Okay, so that's all those. And then one. I should have done the far side first because, yep, here's the problem. Hmm. Alright. No problem, no problem. We're going to eat up. And then go fix that. A little unlucky that one spawned so suddenly there. And uh, the longer I wait, the worse this gets, so we're just going to hop on in. Get the far side. I just want to make sure I can get one, two, three. Okay, and we're out. Get out of here. Okay, move these last couple of blocks. And voila, we have our working. Little farm. Now, where is that? Oh, there's a torch down there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Okay, and that is why <laughs> we are going to need a wall. I would just have been shot like crazy. Oh, and there they all go. Excellent. And let's go see how things are doing. Uh, so they may already be dying, or they might be waiting for me. Super low health. Let's find out. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. And slice. Look at that. One hit, except for the ones in armor, might take a little bit more. Woo! Already level 19. This is working perfectly. Tons of bones, tons of arrows, so those won't be a problem for a while. And I should even get some bow enchantments, uh, or some bows with enchantments every once in a while. Chainmail chest plate. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining me today. I am so excited that we finally have this experience farm up and running. It took way too long to find that dungeon, but we finally got it. Just a quick couple announcements. First off, uh, I blew right past 10 videos without realizing it, so this is actually, I believe, number 12 by the time I upload it. Uh, very excited to have uh, double-digit videos now on my YouTube channel for you. I appreciate all of the support and feedback so far. Please make sure that you keep it coming. If you are enjoying these, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and also uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Goodbye.